Robbie McGuigan, professional sneaker player, thanks for, for joining us. How does that sound? Yeah, it sounds the way I think I should sound, to be honest. You know, I've always dreamed of being a professional sticker player, and now that I'm there, I just want to work hard towards that, and hopefully I get a good start of the season. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. How has the summer been for yourself so far? All good? Yeah, since I've won the Europeans, I've come back and played in a couple of amateur tournaments back home. After they were all wrapped up, I was in Spain for a week as well, just trying to get my head started and trying to get refreshed for the new season. But pretty much since I've won the Europeans, all I've done is practice. I uh, haven't really took much of a break. I think I took seven days off, but. I've just been so eager to play and been looking forward to coming in and practicing every day, so that's what I've done. What's the overriding feeling heading into the season as it edges closer? I think it's more just the excitement and it's probably a little bit of nerves as well, you know, going into you don't know exactly how you're going to handle things, but I think it could be a different feeling now that I've proven that I should be out there. Obviously, you're getting the wild cards into the World Snooker events, you aren't exactly proving yourself as a professional yet, but obviously now I have, I deserve to be out there and I belong out there and I feel like I do anyway. But obviously there's more added pressure now I'm playing for uh, the ranking points and playing the whole mature card. The last few times I've been out there it's been pressure free really. I'm playing the pros and they're the ones under pressure. This time it'll be me but I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully I can relish that feeling. That little bit of pressure, is that where perhaps the nerves come in a little bit? Is that where you, you're saying it's a little bit daunting? Yeah but most matches I've been nervous for, you know, at the start of them and then once I settle in the matches then I feel better. I think the closer I get to the winning line I feel, I feel better in my game as well also. So yeah it's probably nerves all around but overall it's been the excitement. You've got a um, pretty good company though in this club to, to handle nerves and, and when talking about bottle there's there's no one better than, than Mark Allen is there really? No definitely not I think Mark's in my opinion has got one of the best bottles in the game uh, probably in the last couple of years he's finally showing what he can do and yeah when obviously I come in here and I see all the trophies up in the up in the walls and see all the photos you know that's what I want to do that's where I want to be I don't just want to be looking at Mark and Jordan's photos all the time you know I want my photos up there in the coming years and I think with the support of Mark and Jordan and practicing every day, I do believe I can achieve that. How big a role has, has this snooker club played in Antrim in, in your development? Take us back to the first time you came here and, and your journey, I suppose, through this club to then becoming a professional. Yeah, the first club I originally played in was actually called the Fountain Snooker Club. It was in Antrim town as well. It was just moved up here to the new building to try and get a bigger building for it. I think we first came up here maybe three years ago, but I love the place, I love I love everything about it, I love the company, obviously all my friends are here, all the snooker players are here, I think there's obviously there's only three professionals in Northern Ireland and all three of them play in this club, so it just shows you how good it is and I don't think there's anywhere in Ireland that's as good as this place, so I think we actually had the Northern Ireland Championship final in here, the year, the first year that I won it as well, so it's a special memory for me and yeah, it's been good. And as you say, around us here, may not be seen in shot, but lots of pictures of Mark Allen, Jordan Brown over there as well, that inspires you as you walk in you feel it as you walk in this room yeah, of course you know as i said before I, you know i want my photos up there as i said I'm, I'm sick of seeing them too already so you know hopefully i can get mine up there in the future and i think they'd be more more than supportive for me to get my, my name and some trophies in the future but as i say that's that's pipeline that's many years to come i think obviously just starting the tour i've just got to keep my head on the ground and just try and win a few matches at the start be honest, how much have you bothered them for advice and been leaning on them for, for tips? I think whenever I was younger, I probably didn't ask enough. I think I was pretty, maybe thought I knew it all, but obviously a few sort of defeats over the last couple of years, I realised you don't know it all. And obviously since the last couple of years, all I've done is speak to them, just try and torture them to play me. I think they're willing to play me, but yeah, I'm just, just asking them plenty of questions. And I mean, they've been there and done it. They've made all the mistakes that I'm going to make, so I may as well ask them before I make them. How many wins have you notched up against them? I don't know, I'd say I have a few more against Jordan than I probably do against Mark to be honest, but like, I've been practicing with Mark quite a lot recently and I've been doing okay against him, so that must mean something. Take us back to the moment you won your tour card, the European Championship final, 5-4 win against Craig Stemmer, what do you remember from the day? I well, obviously I'd won four deciders in a row up to that point, so going into that, going into that decider I was uh, feeling pretty good to be fair because I was 4-3 down and I won a very good frame to go for each, so in the decider was fine. All day I felt very good, you know, I felt that I played the better snooker of the two of us. I think looking back on that match, if I'd have lost it, I would have been quite disheartened by it because I did feel like I played better than Craig. But overall I felt good. The only time that the nerves probably got the better of me was the last couple of shots. I couldn't even feel my arm at that stage <laughs> because obviously the adrenaline of winning and then trying to just get over that line. But up until then I think I felt fine.
that really is amazing. What a performance. And when you did go over the winning line, what was that feeling like when you knew you got that to your tour card? It was probably more relief, not even so much the two-year tour card, but becoming a European champion, because you can get your tour card from Q school to Q tour, but to me that doesn't mean as much. You know, I want to be a champion, you know, I want to be, you know, whether it be world amateur champion or European champion, I wanted to win one of them big titles, so the fact that I won that was as big a feeling as getting the tour card, to be honest. And two out of the first three events for you could be in China and Saudi Arabia, so you are chucked right in the right in the deep end for, for your start of the tour this season. How excited are you for those two events and how much do you really want to showcase your talent, your ability on the big stage? Well, I've said to the lads, but my goal this season is to qualify for at least one of the China events. You know, I've seen on Facebook and Twitter about how the way the players are treated over there. I've seen like the red carpets and the, everything else. And I don't think any other country does that for the players. I think that's fantastic. And I think for me to be able to experience that would be, you know, be brilliant for me. Will you be uh, traveling with these two? Yeah, obviously Mark's higher up the rankings than me, so a lot of the qualifiers and stuff I think it'll be sort of me and Jordan going to. But yeah, it's, it's good to have company on the tour and I'm looking forward to learning off the guys, see how they go about things. What's he like travelling with on the plane, a 14 hour journey? Actually, because I've been uh, amateur seen the last couple of years, I haven't travelled with Jordan that much or, or Mark really, but uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> Who are you most looking forward to facing on tour? What's your opponent? I think it'd have to be Ronnie O'Sullivan. You know, he's, he's the best player. On, in my eyes, he's still the best player in the world and he's the best player of all time, you know. I think he's the only person you're going to learn the most from, playing them. You know, even if I played him and I got to be 5-0, I, I, I wouldn't bother me. You know, I just want to go out there and enjoy the experience. And I think the crowds that Ronnie draws in are, are brilliant as well, so it'll be good to experience that. And what do you think it'll feel like if you were to play Mark or, or Jordan out there? Mark over the years has said that it's really actually tough playing, playing yeah. Jordan, such a close friend. Jack and Judd, for example, play each other as well, close mates. How do you think you'll fare playing against one of these two, maybe? I think I would see it as more as like an achievement for me to play them boys and professionals, because obviously I've been practicing with them since I was like 10 or 11, so it would be like almost like I made it now to play these boys in the professional ranks. I think I would see it as quite a positive thing. I don't think them two would think that. I think they would be under a lot of pressure playing me, to be honest, and hopefully I could maybe use that to my advantage. I don't know, but it, it would be tough for everybody, but I think I would see it as more of an achievement than anything else. And your aims and ambitions, do you have a, a target in mind for this campaign? Yeah, I've, I like to keep my targets to myself mainly, but the short term targets, I sort of know exactly what I need to do. You know, the tour's tough, you know, you to stay on after a couple of years, you need to hit the ground running, you need to do well in your first year, and you win, we need to win plenty of matches, but look, I'm just going to take it one game at a time and enjoy the experience. Looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. Well, all the best, mate. We look forward to seeing you out there, and uh, fingers crossed it goes really well for you. All right, thank you. Cheers.